Okay, ladies and gentlemen, what we'd like to do today is share with you some ideas for how we can use Google Maps as a really interesting and interactive way of share, getting your students to share information about their schools and community with their partner school. Now, you could use this maybe instead of a PowerPoint or a Prezi or a video for the This Is Us bit of the first module. So when you're introducing yourselves to your partner school, you could produce an interactive resource for them using Google Maps. Well, it's actually very simple. I just want to take you through some of the, the basic ways of doing it, and I'm sure you'll discover that the sky is absolutely the limit with this. And of course, the other great thing is students can use it from any computer anywhere. They don't have to be in school for it. So what we're going to do first of all, as you can see, I'm on the Google UK homepage, is just click on where it says Maps. We'll go to Google Maps. Now, of course, my Google map is saying it's got the UK in the middle. Um, that's because I'm in the UK. Um, your Google map will probably have your country in the middle. So, but what we're going to do is we're going to make our own map. So this is basically an overlay onto the map of the world that only we and other people who we choose to admit can get into. So we do that by clicking on My Places. Now, when it opens up My Places, um, you'll need to have a Google account in order to do that. If you've got a Gmail account, it'll open up straight away. Um, if you haven't got one, you'll need to create one, but that's an easy thing to do. And you'll see that we have various different options that pop up, but the most interesting one is Create Map, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to create an interactive map loaded with lots of information about where we happen to be so that other people can then come along and look at it. So we click Create Map. And we're going to give it a title. I'm going to call it Ian's Map um, and describe it as an example map uh, to show how it can be used. Now you'll see we've got two options immediately under that. One is public. This means anyone in the world who's got access to Google can find it, which isn't what we want. One is unlisted. If you click unlisted, then you can choose who you share it with. So we're going to share it with just a few people. So having done that, I'm going to click save straight away. Okay, now that's saved. You'll notice up here at the top as well, we've got another button that says collaborate. If we click that, you, you can see you are allowed to invite collaborators. So I could, if I wanted to, invite 20, 30, 40 other people to work on this map with me. And if I click this button, I'm allowing them to edit that map. But what that means is your students can go home and can work from home to contribute elements of this map and then come back into school. Now, if you set them a homework and say, I want you to do this by Tuesday, on Tuesday, you can come into this setting and untick that, and then they won't be able to add any more. So you can make sure that they do the work and they do it on time. The other advantage is, once that's unticked, you can then invite the other school, your partner school, as collaborators, and they will be able to see and read and look at what you guys have created, but they won't be able to edit it. I'll remind you about that later on. What we're going to do first of all is think about how we might use this map to tell people about our communities. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to create just a couple of examples of how we might use this map to talk about where I live, which is this city down here in the southwest of the UK called Plymouth. And I'm going to start off with one particular bit of Plymouth, which is very historical, and that's the sound. So what I'm going to do is tell you something about the sound. So what I'm going to do is put a marker in the middle of Plymouth Sound. Now you'll see straight away I'm asked to tell you all sorts of things about this marker. And there are various options we can explore. First of all, if we click on that, you can see there are lots and lots of different icons you might choose to use. The fact you've got different colours means that you'll probably be able to say to different students or different groups of students you use red and you use green and that way we'll all be able to see what everybody else has done. I'm going to use a nice red pin. And the area I'm going to talk about 
is Plymouth Sound. So that's the title I'm going to give. Now, I could just do this as plain text, or I could be really flashy and do it as HTML. HTML is a bit tricky, so I'm going to do it as rich text. And I'm going to tell people all about a yacht race that we have here in Plymouth Sound called the Admiral's Cup. So, in 2011, we were lucky enough to get the Admiral's Cup yacht race in Plymouth Sound. This was very exciting. You could go on and on and on about it. What I'm going to do is, you know, that's quite interesting and it tells people about something that's happening near me, but we could make it more interesting still. Let's add a picture. So, just like with the face to face site, you can't just upload pictures to Google Maps. But if you put them elsewhere on the web, like for example on Flickr, then you can. So I'm going to open up my Flickr photo stream. I'm going to find a picture of the Admiral's Cup yacht race and I'm going to choose a particular size. So now I'm going to choose a particular size. So I want to view all sizes and obviously let's have a medium one. Okay, now if we right click, you can get the image URL, and that's what we want the URL of this image. So I'm going to click that, and then when I go back here and I click to insert an image, it says enter a URL. So I'm going to right click and paste that URL in, and there we go. There's my picture of the yacht race. Now, a picture and a bit of text that's all very well. We can actually get better than that. Um, you can watch One Day's Racing on YouTube at this URL. What we're going to do is go and look on YouTube. And if we look here on YouTube, you can see I've already found a really exciting video of that day's racing. So what we need to do now is share it. If you go down to underneath the video where it says share, it'll give you a URL. So if we right click on that and click copy, and go back to our Google map. We're going to highlight these words and we're going to add a link to that YouTube video. And then we're going to click OK. So let's save it. I'm going to add one other for the moment. Um, let's go into Plymouth, zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to zoom into. I'm going to go into quite a lot of detail. We're going to put a marker in here because this marker represents um, Plymouth Synagogue. We haven't got many places of worship in Plymouth that aren't Christian. So in fact, the synagogue is about the only one I know. So it's quite an interesting example. Um, so Plymouth Synagogue is a very old and very beautiful building. Used by our Jewish community for worship. Okay, so once again, um, let's see what we can do. Well, this time we, we are going to add a link to the website and a virtual tour has been uploaded to YouTube. So that's two um, links we're going to put in. So the first one is going to be a link to the website. So we just go along and we copy the URL. Okay, and then we find online again. I found a really good virtual tour of this synagogue. So if we go to share and we copy, I'm 
Okay. We can, of course, go back to the top. And just like we did last time, we can add a picture from our Flickr photo stream. So if I go to Flickr, I go back to my photo stream. You'll see I've uploaded a picture from the Synagogue of the Plymouth. And what I'm going to do, remember, you do it this way, view all sizes. Pick the size that you want. Copy URL. And Bob's your uncle. All done and dusted. So I'm going to OK that. I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to say done. OK. So my map is now ready for people to come along and have a look at it. So if somebody comes along and have a look at it, and they click on there, here the who it is. Look. We've got the picture, we've got the text, we've got the link to YouTube. We've got the picture, we've got the text, we've got a link to the website and a link to YouTube. All done and dusted. There is no limit to the number of things you can put on here. You could have 20 or 30 students working independently to add three things. What you end up with then is a map that is genuinely collaborative because you are sharing it with your students. But when they finish, you take that, you invite collaborators from the other school and they are able to go into and find out about your students. So it's not like a presentation, it's genuinely interactive. I think this is a really exciting way of sharing information about your school. And of course you can, you know, double dig it if you like. You can upload your own videos, your own PowerPoints and link them into this so that you have all these different things there for everyone to find out about. So that's how you might choose to use Google Maps to tell other people about your school, your community, about sharing information so that other people can interrogate it and find out about it in a genuinely interactive way. I hope